John, it's a hundred days before the World Cup starts, unless they change the start again. But uh, I wonder, uh, obviously you're focused on, on the club here, but is it always at the back of the mind when you go to bed, when you wake up, what do you think about it? Yeah, it's, I think, of course, we think about it. It's, it's exciting, but um, for me personally, the, the most important is um, what's happening here. And it, I, it, like I've always been saying, it, it translates anyways. The way, the way you're doing at your club is what's going to kind of get you, um, move you forward into the World Cup. So as long as I focus here day to day, then... I know, you know, that that will take me into a good way going into the World Cup. It's exciting. It's, it's exciting for, I think, everybody that's a part of it. Uh, you know, uh, supporters, our families, everybody. So, um, yeah, it's getting close, but at the same time, my, my focus is here at Toronto City. Sean, there's, uh, there's 10 games uh, to go in this season. I think it's, it's a four-point gap, but there's six teams that you have to overcome mm. the table. What's sort of the sense amongst you and the guys that, you know, how difficult, if at all, is this going to be to sort of leapfrog these teams and get into a playoff spot? Yeah, we know it's, just, of course, it's difficult. Every every game in this league is difficult. Um, but we certainly think that's very possible as well, especially with the team that we have and the way, in the way that we're playing right now and everything. So we understand that these are, we've been saying it, every game now is kind of, we go in to to get three points, and 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 now the margins are are really little now for losing points. So um, yeah, we go into every game like a final, and and that's our mentality. Portland hasn't been here in a while, um, and they don't often come here. I, I wonder if you remember the 2019 game in April. I think you guys you scored in it. You lost two one afterwards. You said it wasn't acceptable the performance. Does, does that game? Do you remember that game, or is it in the past? Oh, I, I remember that game because um, that's when I started suffering my my anemia, actually. It was that game I started feeling it. Um, but, no, yeah, I remember that game. It, it, it was uh, early in the season, I believe. I don't know if one, if our first home game or one of our first home games. Um, and, yeah, so that was a, a, a tough one, obviously. And But I think that's so far in the past that, like, a lot has changed in that time and, and – um, they are a little bit of a different team. We're a different team, totally different team. So, um, no, but we know that they're they're always a tough test in this league. You know, they they have a in the last uh, decade have made a pretty good history, I think. And and so this will be a tough game. Last three games, your team scored eight goals. It's been shutouts. Uh, do you feel that we're only just beginning to see what this offense can do with the, with, with everybody getting together now with the new addition? Yeah, yeah, I think we always knew. Obviously, I, I think everybody um, knew that, that that we were capable of that, especially you getting uh, guys of the caliber of uh, Lorenzo and, and Federico. Um, you know, they're going to create chances. They're going to score goals, create chances for other other people, uh, the, the other guys on the team. So um, we know that we are we are dangerous going forward, um, but we also want to be as dangerous um, defensively. Um, and actually, I think in the last three games, uh, we've been better defensively, especially in the run of play. Now it's just about cleaning up some, you know, the, the little details of the game, like set pieces and things like that. Do you, do you have a sense of why that is, John, in terms of the last three games better defensively? Has something changed? Is it just introduction of new players? What made it no, I, I, I think we're just at that part of the year where we're now getting used to each other and, and, and understanding the way we want to play and everything. And as well as you put more quality players on the team, it makes it easier. Uh, the more you have the ball, the less you have to defend as well. The more time you have the, uh, the ball, the more time you have to set up your, your, your counter defense and, and things like that. So all of those, I think all of those factors is the reason why maybe we've been better in the last two games. Yeah, it's nice. I mean, I think for everybody, for everybody, um, he's the type of guy that you can't hate. Nobody hates. Like he's he's just so likable and and such a great guy and and a very very quality player, of course. And I think that you know we're we're really happy that we have that quality player. 
uh, back at the club. Um, happy for him as well. I think he feels happy and, and, and comfortable here and, and and it allows him to really express himself and, and play the way he, he, he knows how to play. So, um, and he, yeah, he's another uh, key, huge player for us that can make plays as you saw on the weekend. So yeah, for for every reason, it's we're very happy to have Richie back. Just on the bench, like how, he's obviously guarding up that right-hand side with every, <laughs> almost every play. Mm -hmm. How much does he help unlock, I guess, what everyone else is trying to do with just him making those runs for him being a threat moving forward? How much does that help your team tactically, I guess? Yeah, I mean, it's another threat that the defense has to worry about. It, 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 it makes them have another guy to think about and then maybe sometimes that their their winger can't cheat as much they has to come they has to come back and help if he doesn't help they're in big trouble that's that's the type of of player we have in Richie and and I think it works well too with Federico that he's a left footed player and he's coming in a lot and so Richie can get around him it, it works really well I think in 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 all aspects that starts how you scored your your first goal the other night was yeah I will say this, <laughs> Richie was almost at half and calling for the ball. <laughs> and so I was looking and he wasn't there, he wasn't there. And I said, where is this guy? This guy's not even close and he's darting up the field. He takes actually still gets into the play to take uh, um, the left back away. Love it. So yeah, that's, that's the quality that he has. Jonathan, uh, we understand the national team is now formed a players association. You have mm -hmm. legal representation in your talks with Canada soccer. As mentioned, the clock is ticking. Are you, there's a, I understand that there's a proposal that is before the players now. Are you confident that there is progress going? And does the Players Association, what does that do for your bargaining? I think forming that Players Association uh, progresses the talks uh, in, in, and lets the talks now begin in a, in a, in a more, I guess, professional and positive way, um, in a more efficient way, I should say. Um, so, yeah, I think um, right now it's it's kind of early in the discussions. Obviously, we just formed the players' union, and and but we we believe that things will move uh, pretty well, and and I think we're optimistic that a deal will get done. Um, at the same time, you know, with us the players, uh, we're focusing on on playing, you know, more than anything, playing the World Cup, and and um, now we have our legal representation that we'll worry about. All the other stuff. And as players, do you feel that uh, you should be getting a cut of the sponsorship deals, image rights, and things like that? I mean, it's your product that's making the money for Canada Soccer. Is that part of these talks that you sh you feel you you guys should be getting a cut of that? Yeah, I think so. I mean, this is this is the world we live in now, right? Um, you know, I think we we are the product. We are, you know, all of these things that are happening for the national team now is because the team is winning and the team is winning because of because of the players and and the staff uh within the team um so yeah i think those things we, we want to be compensated fairly i think that's the most important it is it's not about how much or whatever but we want to be compensated fairly for those things so that we may move um this sport in this country forward John, it's so important to have good connections and understanding between teammates. Uh, anytime you guys come in, it always takes a little bit of time for, for those to get hammered out. How are you seeing that coming together, and, and what does that look like for you as those relationships strengthen? Sorry, can you repeat that? Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I zoned uh, out. Anytime you... Uh, yeah, okay. Connection. No, just ask it the same way. I, I just literally zoned out. I'm sorry. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Uh, connections and understanding between teammates is so yeah, yeah. important. Uh, anytime new guys come in, it takes a little bit of time for mm. those to sort of develop. Uh, how are you seeing that develop, and, and yeah. what does that look like, whether it's on the training pitch or in the games? Yeah, yeah. I think I think it's developing really well. I think we really have a, a good group uh, here, uh, really good guys that we all get along with each other. It's it's a really good group, and that helps it uh, progress faster, I think. And then some, you know, some 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 relationships takes longer to to understand, and or the understanding uh, takes longer uh, between players than, than others. Um, but I think 
with with good players it, it, it comes kind of easy and and I think that's why I see happening and the team is coming along pretty pretty quick now with all the additions and and, and in a good way so yeah it's uh it's coming along in a positive way Yeah, yeah, for sure. I, I think, uh, you know, but I, I've 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 said from a very long time ago that every year I want to improve, and that's what I strive for. That's what I use every year and off season to do. And I I see no other way uh, in 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 going about your career, right? So um, you can always improve every year, and I I, I think I'm at um, my, in present at the highest level that that I've been and. And that's a good thing. That's what I always want. I want. I always want my present to be my highest level, and I, I don't think this is the peak yet. I really don't. So, um, but it's about going day to day, and not every day is going to be uh, ups and, and improving. I will have my my down days, of course. It's just about you know keeping the the path and 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 to keep improving and keep that that hunger. Going into new European season, what are you keeping your eye on this year? Everything, always everything, everything, my friend. Uh, obviously, La Liga said, yeah, starting this weekend. Uh, a lot of leagues started last weekend. Um, keeping tabs on my guys, the Canadian guys overseas. Um, yeah, it's exciting now to wake up, and there's football in the morning now from morning to night. I think that's the best part. Did you grow up supporting a team, a European team? Yeah. Um, and my team was always, uh, I was always fond of the Galacticos. Um, I'm a big Zizou fan, so the Galacticos kind of uh, made me start to follow and, and support Real Madrid. Well, we got some Galacticos now here. Yeah, I mean, tech, they're always the Galacticos, really. Uh, that's that's, the, that's the, the history, really, of, of the club, and I, I like that. I kind of like that. Um, um, I like that, they, they, especially last year, I, I, I really like the winning mentality that they had. In the Champions League, uh, I really admire that, and um, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.